Hey everybody, so we're going to do part four of the cheap mechanical mod with a sub one build. So you're not, not going to want to miss it, so please stick around and I'll see you there. I opened the window a little bit. Let's see if it helps any. If um, the video isn't good, just let me know. Okay, so I'm pulling out some cotton, which is kind of very hard to see actually. I have to close the window back up, or at least the drapes. Yeah, just a little too much light here. There we go. Alright, so it's cotton bacon. Version 2. This is really good stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip a little bit off. And then, about that thick or so, I'm going to move the mod and I'm going to twist it. You want to make sure your hands are clean for this. Because you don't want any of the impurities on your fingers, the oils, or anything like that to go into the cotton. Because then it's going to taste a little odd. Okay. So. I'm just going to leave it on the mod. See if I can get a, a little further back. So we're going to thread it into the coil best we can. It's a little too thick, so we're going to untwist it a little, take a little bit off. Just a little. Make a little thinner. Twist. You don't have to like twist it extremely in large amounts, just enough to get it in there. Okay. There you go. What I normally do is I pull them up, try to make them about the exact same length, like that. What I do is I twist, I take the ceramic scissors, or these little needle points that came in the kit, and I lightly tuck it in there. That I make this cotton really tight on this side, so it's taut against the coil. This is on my switch to the ceramics. Ceramics have a bigger footprint. Kinda just stuff it in there. We're gonna take this side, do the same thing, twist it under the coil. Just work the cotton till you get a nice little bow. Or not a bow, but a nice little lay down and it's covering the entire side. So, put this 
this over. Unplug the battery charger real quick. I'm gonna take it over to the light. Get a little better light over here. So, you want it to look pretty close to that. The cotton that's in the well is not touching the top of the coil. The only cotton that's touching the coil is the two wings that you moved off. We're going to work on this side. Turn it around. Try to move the debris out of the way. Okay. I'm going to take a little off of this one. This one might be too thick. But we could always remove, and then you can always combine the cotton back together if you need to. I'm pretty positive that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be too thick. All right, so move a little bit off, and I will put a link in the description for. Jason Reynolds, go check out his channel. He's a good guy. He's got a Milwaukee emblem, so you can't mistake him. Oh, come on. They'll cooperate. There it goes. Alright. Don't force the cotton or you'll rip it, and then it's not going to work the way you want it to, okay? Pigtails, give you a close-up. Make sure that they're even. This will give you the best result. Sometimes I do it with my fingers. Sometimes I just wrap it with the You also want it to be tightly packed but kind of loose that one try to make sure the cotton sits in every section of the well fluff it a little bit and this is all preference this is just what works great for me hopefully you guys can see this okay and then once you soak the cotton it's gonna lower into the well a little better. The coil should be a still the silver but slightly brown. Um, that's how you know it looks good and the coils are primed. Is what I would call it would be priming the coils like we did earlier. We heated them up, squeezed them together to get them as close as possible. If the coils are too far separate, um, it will not heat evenly. You want it to heat from the center out or from the outside in the best you can. Alright, I'm going to hook it up to this limited edition Snow Wolf um, and we'll check the, the OIMS and I can also test it on this OIMS tester right here. Turn it on. 
that zero. This one barely fits on this one. It is reading at 0 0.17, which is actually almost just like the first coil. First coil was 0 0.16. It is just a hair different. And just in case, we'll test it on a different coil checker. blue one that was in my bag that I showed in the previous videos. So it's raised a little bit. So I might need a charge. I think it might need a charge. one's not reading at all. Let's see if we can plug it in. Give me a second guys, let me get a cord. See if I can give it a little quick charge. This side is for ohms. This side is for voltage. This is a tester. You can actually screw it on to your mod like this. And then put your RDA on top. And you can test voltage and ohms straight from the battery. This one is actually a little more accurate. This one's reading at 0 0.13. I trust this one a lot more than what comes in the kit. This one is like two or three bucks. This one's like 15, 16 bucks. It's jumping. Where does it end at? I'm going to charge it for a few more seconds, or maybe a minute or so. Might be jumping because it's just got kind of a low battery. This is rechargeable. This one just takes double A's. The rechargeable one has puts out a higher ampage um, and wattage voltage, so to me it it seems to work a lot better. And I always have, I'm using a big anchor 20,000 milliamp uh, battery charger right now. Just, you know, an anchor battery charger. So I always carry one of these with me when I go somewhere. So it's easy to recharge one of these. I also like that this one's raised so it will fit larger RDAs and tanks. I'll flip it on. This one's reading at, looks like steady one, 0 0.12, which is actually lower than the 0 0.16 I had. This would be considered sub ohms. Yeah, I twist it, take it off slightly. 
tighten it back up, it's reading constantly at 0 0.12. So if I test it on the other one, it's probably going to read totally different. Yeah, totally different. I've had more luck with the blue one I just showed you than this one. Um, every time I check my uh, coils, um, I always use the blue one because the blue one seems to be about 99% accurate. This one's saying 0 0.18. I know for a fact this is not 0 0.18. You can also use an app, which is a nice app that I use every once in a while. I'm trying to show you guys. Do do where is vape stuff? Vaping tools, vapor calculator. If you click OIMS, so OIMS are zero point one two, and voltage is. 3.4. Actually, hold on. Let me go find the battery real quick. Okay. So this is a 3.7 volt battery. So we're going to do 3.7. Calculate. 3.7. It'll give you 114.08 watts. The OIMS you put in, it's 30 amps. It's a nice tool. I found it on um, uh, Google Play Store. You can also do coil calculator. You can put in Canthal A1, round wire, ribbon wire, diameter it's 3.0 or 30, single coil, it's a dual coil, Target resistance is 0 0.12. Inner diameter is 3.0 millimeters. Total length, leg length is 3 millimeters. Calculate. It'll actually tell you, so this would be an example. This will tell you wire length. You're going to need 8.4291 millimeters in length. You're going to want to do wraps, 0 0.49 wraps, wraps rounded, 0 slash 1 slash 0, so one wrap. Or you can do, this is, that's actually wrong. Needed 25 gauge wire. Rounded ohms, 2 slash 1, 0 0.1 ohms. Leg power loss is 11%. You're going to want 1.94 wraps. So if you just minimize some of this. Okay. Total leg length, I put zero millimeters just to give you an uh, just an example. 26.8731 is the wire length you're going to need in millimeters. 2.19 wraps. And I did technically... This all goes all the way up to octacoil, single parallel times two, dual parallel times two. There it is. I did dual parallel coils times two coils. That's what I did. So, to be more helpful. So this is to show you how accurate my wrap was. Canthal A1 round wire, 25 gauge wire, dual parallel times two coils. Oops. Times two coils. I want the target resistance to be 0 0.12 ohms. 
inner diameter is 3.0 millimeters and I zero leg length, you're going to need 53.7462 millimeters length of wire. You're going to want to do 4.38 wraps, which is about what I did because I did four wraps. Um, and then I did a little over uh, half or almost a half wraps rounded. You're going to want four wraps around and five fourths rounded ohms is 0 0.12 ohms leg power loss is zero percent you can calculate the power loss if you'd like but that's just an example this app also does juice calculator if you want to make your own juice it does unit conversions millimeters to inches inches to millimeters and it's got an ohm calculator it's called vapor calc another useful app is vapor toolbox is another good app um, and vape boss is another great app also a couple of these I haven't used in a while I need to sign back into them I also have IVPS tour which is for the X cube smock I have five star rewards hey everybody so please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, um, and if you want to see future updates, go check out my Amazon affiliate links, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.